In this video, you will learn how to add custom tokenization rules. This could be expression or anything used in the specific field. In our previous tutorial, we have already seen what is tokenization and how we can apply it using Spacey. And this is a special case where we can put sentences of our own choice. Let's import Spacey. Now from Spacey, we will import the symbols from spacey dot symbols import ORTH this is needed when we have some special characters in our sentence now I'm going to load the English language model and save in object NLP I will call this spacey from this I will call the method load and inside this I will pass the English language model and the model name is en core underscore web underscore sm let's execute our code now this model has been loaded in this object nlp and if i call this nlp object you will see here spacey dot lang dot english at this location now i'm going to create one document i'll, I'll make one variable doc now i will call this nlp object and inside that i will pass one special uh, character or special word and uh, let me type give me that and let's execute our code and if I write this doc so it says that it has give me that now I'll apply the tokenization on this variable doc and let's see what we get in the output I will call this for loop on this variable doc I will write for token in doc print token dot text and here in the output you can see that we got these two words here the first one is give me and the next one is that and this give me stands for give me uh, many people call this uh, give me as a short form or whenever they are writing text this is uh, informal word this is not the formal one and now instead of uh, splitting this give me that into two words we want to uh, split it in a different way uh, in a sense that instead of this gimme we will split this gimme into two parts the first will be gim and the second part will be just me and that we can use using this special case of tokenization and for that first i will make one variable special case and in this I will create one dictionary inside a list so first I will create a list this is my list and inside this I will create a dictionary here and dictionary because I want to split this word give me into two parts the first part will be GIM and the second part will be ME so let's create a dictionary and we will have key and pair so in key we will have this class ORTH which is a special case so here I will write ORTH and then I will write GIM this is the first part of the word that we want then I'll put one comma and I'll create one more dictionary and the key will be same ORTH and here the value will be ME I want this second part now let us execute our code so we have this in this special case and if I call this special case here so you will see here we have this uh, dictionary here inside this list and orth you will see here we are getting this number 65 because this orth has this number 65 that is why we are getting this 65 here so we have this dictionary inside our list now we are going to add the special case to this NLP object that we have loaded here so in this NLP object we have the English language model and we are going to add the special case to this NLP object so when we will, we will call this NLP object we will get that as a result and to add that I will write NLP dot tokenizer dot add special case so here you will see add special case this is a method and inside this we want to 
pass the special case and the special character here is give me so I will write here give me this is a special character and we want to split this into two parts this GIM and ME and this one is saved in this object special case so I will put a comma here and I will call this object special case here special case and now I will execute this code so I have added this special case in this NLP object now I will call this same for loop here and now let's see what we will get in the output I will call this for loop for token in NLP inside this I will write give me that that is our variable you will see here that is our this sentence here give me that and then I will write print token dot text now here in the output you can see we got three results here the first one is GIM the second is ME and the third is that so this you can pronounce it as give me that this is informal I am just giving you one example and instead of this word you can put any other word here so this is the special case of tokenization where you can use any word and you can split that word based on some special tag special case or logic so here what we have done when we had the sentence here give me that in this object doc when we apply this tokenization we got two words here GIMME and, and that then we decided that we want to split this gimme into two parts the first will be GIM and the second one will be ME so we call this special case we created one variable special case and then we added this special case to this NLP object in which we have loaded our English language model and then we applied a for loop and in the output we got the three results here gimme me and that so this is about the special case of tokenization rule if you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.